Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna dive into the Zero Trust Workshop. Zero Trust has become this holy grail that every organization seeks to achieve. We think about always verify, least privilege access, assume breach, but it can be very overwhelming. What do I need to do? Where do I start? Now NIST has all of the areas of zero trust laid out. And there's even a, a mapping that shows, let me just bring this up, that kind of shows, okay, so when I think of NIST and all of the areas about zero trust, what aspects of the Microsoft ecosystem would I use to address all of the different areas of zero trust? So this is great, but as you, look at that, it's obviously still very, very intimidating because some of these capabilities, well, which bits of the functionality do I actually need to leverage to start addressing those key tenants of Zero Trust? So as you would fully expect as part of a video about the Zero Trust Workshop, we enter the Zero Trust Workshop. So if I jump over to this, so this is the Zero Trust Workshop. It is free and think of it as a layout of a roadmap for all of the activities required to succeed. Now it's actually been incubating for over a year and a half. It's evolved from a number of more specific efforts, but it was a joint piece of work from the Intune, Purview, Sentinel, Azure, Entra, and more teams for just a very cohesive engagement model that is actually open source. So the scripts that it's gonna leverage are in GitHub. You can customize them if you wish. The actual uh, swim lanes for the efforts, if you're a partner, you could customize. You could put in pull requests around certain areas if you think there are improvements but it's designed to actually give me a path I can follow to work towards achieving that zero trust. Now, there are two parts to this. Now, if we jump back over again to the actual site, there's a lot of great information. It talks about, well, what is zero trust? Why run the workshop? How do I run a workshop? And we'll dig into some of that. But if we go up here at the top, you'll see this idea of plan. Now in the plan, there are these basically step one and the step two. So the first step is you're just gonna run a script. So it talks about, and I'll jump over to this, running the assessment tool. This is fundamentally a PowerShell script. It's gonna run a number of commands against the Microsoft Graph. Remember the Microsoft Graph is that API and interaction that lets us talk to things about Entra and SharePoint and many other Microsoft services. So all we're really gonna do is install the module and then invoke it. And you can really think about this part of it as just a retroactive tooling. It's giving me the ability to look at what I have and I haven't done. Maybe it helps point out some missing configurations, maybe stuff I intended to do and haven't yet done. So after I run that PowerShell script, it's gonna spit out an assessment report. So the assessment report will look like this. And this is based around the identity assessment and the device assessment. So for example, in the identity assessment, it says, hey, not yet started, configure conditional access policies for workload identities. Um, but workload identities authentication methods has been completed. And for each of these things, you can scroll down and it goes into what exactly these are and how I can learn more about these particular activities. So it's gonna give me information on my identity and about my devices. So it's just giving me a good level set of where I am right now. So that's the goal of this. But then you get to the main bulk of what is the workshop. So this is designed to help plan how to actually move my organization to zero trust. Now I'm gonna focus right here on you're gonna do this yourself, absolutely. You could get Microsoft or a partner to come in and help you, but also you as an organization 
could go and run this for yourself. So if we go back to the site, so if this was step one, get an idea of where you are right now. Step two is to download the workshop tool. Now the workshop tool is actually an Excel spreadsheet. So if we jump over, this is the spreadsheet you are gonna download. Now, right at the start, you can see it kind of talks about, well, the all up aspects of identity, devices, network, infrastructure, apps, and data. They're the key pillars that we think about for zero trust. Now, there are videos available that will walk through these various aspects. If you go back for a second and actually look at the website, so the website over here, we just jump back to the main menu part. In the learn, you'll see these idea of workshop videos. These videos are not required watching. If you're just an individual person at your company running the workshop, the videos were designed for a partner. So if you're a partner, if you're a consultant, and you wanna run the workshop for customers, you would wanna watch these videos because they will talk about how you're gonna interact with the customer, how you're gonna break down the various activities. But if you are the customer themselves, you really don't need to watch these videos. And instead, your focus is going to be around the Excel spreadsheet. And so what you're gonna do is it's based again around the pillars, not products. So down the bottom, it talks about the roadmaps required to address the core pillars that help you successful in zero trust. So if, for example, I select identity, what you can see here are swim lanes, i.e. threads of effort that you are going to perform to work towards this particular goal. So for example, design conditional access posture. So roll out conditional access, authentication, strengths and control. Roll out conditional access with device data and app management. And for each of them, you'll notice you have these levels of effort component. So we have the idea of implementation effort and then the idea of user impact. And for each of them, I can track, well, what is my progress within my organization? So I've not started it in planning, planned, et cetera, et cetera. Am I using a third party solution? I may not be using all Microsoft products. That's totally fine. But you can still track, hey, I'm achieving this. I'm working through this another way. And I can click on it and it will take me to a page in the Zero Trust Workshop that gives me full detail why is the implementation effort high? Why is the user impact high? What is it actually doing? Is there more reference information so I can learn more about it? So every single aspect, every task in these swim lanes, there's detailed documentation. So you will absolutely go box by box to work through it. I would change the statuses as I go. Now, the workshop delivery guidance does actually give me an idea of the timelines. So if I jump back to the workshop delivery guide and I scroll all the way to the bottom, it does give me some rough estimates of timelines for how I can start looking about these things, uh, how I could go about implementing them. Again, there's gonna be a certain element there that, hey, that's probably more for a, an expert in this who's delivered it many, many times. As the customer and you're learning some of these things, it might take you a little bit longer. And obviously I need the responsible party to be available. There's probably not one person in the company, or at least I hope there isn't, that can just do all of the things. You'll need to get those various parties involved. But this is the workshop. So these swim lanes that exist for the pillars. So, hey, look, I'm looking at identity. I'm gonna look at what can I do around devices? What would I do about data, networking, infrastructure, security operations? There is a detailed swim lane for every single one of these. And hey, if I, if I finish everything, 
Congratulations. And this is the workshop and it exists at this moment in time. This is something Microsoft are heavily invested in. They're continuing to refine it. I would suspect the, the script you run at the start, they're gonna make some tweaks to that. These plans as threats evolve, as capabilities evolve, as we learn new things and guidance does evolve, that would be reflected in the workshop. But as an organization, that zero trust really is something nearly everyone is looking to achieve. And so even if I can't do everything, maybe I'm only responsible for a certain aspect of one of the areas, that's still progress, that still benefits my organization. So hey, if I am the identity expert in my organization, I can start to take a look and see how I can move my organization forward and start improving my security posture, my protection against threats. I hope that was useful. Uh, go and take a look at the workshop. The link is in the description below. Until next video, take care.